Totino's Party Pizza. One of my all-time favorite after-school snacks when I was a kid. You know, I see a lot of people trying to recreate all different kinds of fast foods, all different kinds of, you know, frozen foods, but no one has done a Totino's Party Pizza. That is, until today. Let's get started. Boom! Smash that thumbs up button right down there. And let's get started on our dough. My version of a Totino's crust has no yeast in it. So here I have two cups or 300 grams of bread flour. I have half a tablespoon or seven grams of kosher salt, a half teaspoon or one gram of baking powder, two tablespoons or 20 grams of olive oil, and then three quarters of a cup of warm water. And then we'll just take a wooden spoon and stir to combine all the ingredients. We're gonna get a nice shaggy dough. Get all the flour from the edges of the bowl, just like so. Just keep going. And then just on the side of the bowl, scrape that. Then pour your dough out onto a floured work surface and continue to knead by hand until it becomes one smooth ball. Now you definitely can use a food processor or a stand mixer with a dough hook attachment. Just keep kneading this just like so until it all comes together. This should take about like five minutes. We will be doing a side-by-side -side comparison, taste test comparison between a Totino's party pizza and our version. Once your dough ball comes together, put it into a greased bowl Cover it in plastic and put a towel over it and let it rest for about an hour and a half, up to two hours. And while our dough is resting, we're gonna go and get our sauce. So here, I'm only using one cup of the tomato puree. All the ingredients will be listed down below. So I have salt, sugar, oregano, basil, garlic powder. Then the secret ingredient that I like is fennel pollen. Now it's completely optional, but I like to add it. And then a little crack of fresh black pepper. Just give this a stir and our sauce is done. Now, my sauce is a little bit zesty. If you like it more sweet, you can definitely go ahead and add more sugar if you like. And then onto our cheese. I'm using a whole milk, full fat, low moisture mozzarella cheese. You can go and use the pre-grated stuff. I did make one pizza earlier last week that I froze using pre-shredded cheese. And just like Totino's, we're gonna cut our pepperoni into a small dice. And once our dough is rested for an hour and a half to two hours, we're gonna go and preheat our oven to 450. And then we're also going to preheat some oil. Here I have some canola oil. We're gonna go up to 375 degrees. While everything is reheating, we're gonna take our relaxed dough and portion it into 90 gram dough balls. Now you should have about five 90 gram dough balls and one little smaller one. You can use that as a test piece. Now ball them all up and then shape them into like little dough balls, just like so, and then let them rest. We will be rolling these out before we fry them. These dough balls are pretty easy to work with. It's no fuss, no frills, no nothing. Just take one, coat it in flour, and then with the rolling pin, just start to roll them out. I like to roll this out relatively thin, about the thickness of a tortilla. Now, when you're rolling these out, remember, you want to roll them out so they can fit inside your pan still. Don't go any bigger because obviously you won't be able to fry it. And then into the hot oil it goes. And I fried this for about two to three minutes per side till it's nice and kind of a light golden brown. And you can gently push down on this. You can definitely use like a bigger spoon or a, a spatula or a ladle to kind of depress the dough so it doesn't puff up too much, but it will deflate a bit when it cools down. And what I'm looking for is the separation to create nice crispy layers like you would find on a Totino's party pizza. Are Totino's party pizzas fried? I'm not really 100% sure. You can't really find any information on the internet about them, but it's the only pizza that I see or that I know of that has this type of flaky crust. With all my trials and errors throughout the years, deep frying this pizza dough this way has yielded the closest results to a Totino's party pizza. And just do this for all of them. And once they're done, put them all on a wire rack. And what I like to do is I like to put them in the 450 degree oven for about three to four minutes just to really dry out all that grease and get them really nice and crispy. 
they should look just like this. And if you listen, chopsticks don't lie. Now it's time to cook the Totinos. Let's see what it says. 450, middle rack, 10, 12 minutes. Here is the Totinos party pizza in all of its glory. I'm gonna put this right into the oven. All right, into the oven you go, 10 minutes. And while the Totinos party pizza is in the oven cooking, we're gonna go ahead and make one of our own. So let's grab a pizza shell or a pizza crust and just very carefully spread the pizza sauce all around. Now, it's gonna be a little bit difficult because our pizza is not smooth. There's a lot of nooks and crannies, but we can manage. Now go take our freshly shredded whole milk mozzarella cheese and just give this a nice even coating. And then let's finish dressing up our pizza with our diced up pepperoni, just like so. I am so excited right now. Are we making a Twantino's pizza to rival Totino's? Who knows? Oh, and I have a surprise for you guys. I have one that I made last week that I froze. So now we have the Totinos itself. We have a freshly made one. And then we have one that I made last week that I froze. Now this one, I did add some onions and peppers to it, but everything is the same. Well, except for I used shredded cheese instead, but the same pepperoni, the same sauce, the same crust. As you can see, this is frozen. You can see the ice crystals. Yeah, so you can see, let me see if see this cheese, frozen. So in about five minutes, I'm gonna to toss these two into the oven. And so that way, all three pizzas should be done at the same time. Then we're gonna have an epic taste test, side-by-side -side comparison. Dude, I am so excited. This is like a childhood dream come true, right? So right now I'm feeling really confident about this. We could be the first people to successfully recreate Totino's party pizza at home without any fancy equipment. Stay tuned. All right, so there's about, I think about five minutes left for the Totino's to finish cooking. So we're gonna take our frozen one a frozen homemade one, put this in the oven there, and then we'll take our freshly made one and put it in the oven here. All right, five minutes. Let's see what happens. All right, it's time to take our pizzas out and ooh, we got a smoky oven. I'm gonna take this guy out first. Ooh, right here. And take our Totinos. Stuck. Go there. And then let's see our guy back right here. Oh, he's not quite done yet. All right, let's give him a few more minutes. All right, it's been a few more minutes, and let's take out our homemade frozen guy. Doesn't look too bad. Now here are our three pizzas. The original Totino's pepperoni party pizza, then our freshly made Twantino's pepperoni pizza, and then a frozen guy that I made last week. Let's see how they sound in the cut test. OG Totino's, sounds good. And then our fresh Totino's style pizza, Sounds really good. And then the last contestant, our frozen guy. Ooh, that sounds really, really good. All right, guys, moment of truth is here. Did we successfully recreate or possibly even make a better version, a homemade version of Totino's pizza? All right, so. This is a slice of Totino's pizza, pepperoni. What made me believe that the crust is fried is the bottom. 
right? You see the bottom, listen to it. And then just like our dough, when it fried, it puffed up. This has all of those characteristics as well, as you can see here, little air pockets. I, mean, I could be wrong. They could make this like with a bunch of shortening and layer it like pie dough. So let's give this a taste and start our comparison. Flaky crust reminds me of my childhood. So here's ours. Whole milk mozzarella cheese, nice pepperoni, homemade tomato sauce. As you can see our crust also has kind of air pockets, but more pronounced. I do notice that Totino's here, their crust is thicker than mine. But from what I'm feeling in my hands, I don't know, the texture of ours. Let's see. <laughs> hold on, 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 listen. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. One more. Dude. <laughs> okay. This crust, this crust. This is crispier. I mean, obviously this was made fresh and this was frozen for who knows how long, but I think this is what the Totinos were imagining when they made this, right? So we just had a fresh Totinos pizza. Never been frozen. Frozen. Wow. And this is our frozen guy. Same recipe, same technique, same everything. Except I think this one I did roll out a bit thicker. So you can see this is this guy. And then this is the Totino's. So side by side, top on top comparison. Hold on, let me get this. There you go. Looks identical. Let's give it a taste. <laughs> very, very similar texture. This one, huh? Yeah. You don't get that from Totino's. But to be fair, I do have a bit of a crust. Totino's goes all the way from edge to edge. So that's an unfair advantage for me, but a good one. So if you see the bottom of here and then a bottom of a Totino's, to improve the recipe next time, I'm going to roll it out thicker just a little bit and dock the dough. This is so good. You know what's awesome about this recipe? Is that you can make what the dough recipe gives you like five, five nice size ones and then one smaller one. With this recipe, you can make and freeze all the other ones so you can have yourselves a gourmet, no flop, homemade, recreated, better, than Totino's. Don't get me wrong, Totino's, I'll still love you always. I'll still buy you from time to time. Heck, you know what? Every time I miss home, I'll take a bite of that. It'll bring me right there. But this 
and this guys cool crazy homemade Totinos I think this is a success or we are on the right path to getting this about 99% accurate I am very very happy with this this recipe has brought a lot of joy to my heart yeah. guys thank you so much if you like the content go ahead smash the thumbs up button down below give this a like subscribe hit the notification bell take care of yourselves and as always guys Peace.